Nobody likes you, Aquaman. Why? What's going on, guys? Eric coming back at you from the Nerd Cave. Uh, today we are going back to the home of famed D&D artist Tracy Lesh. Uh, you may have seen my previous video featuring him. If you did not, we'll go ahead and throw it up on screen up here. Uh, link to that video if you want to watch kind of part one of this experience where we went and we actually bought uh, Tracy's video game collection uh, as well as a few other kind of random things. Uh, this time we are going back to buy Tracy's uh, toy collection. So we buy lots and lots of uh, figures and, and box toys and some other collectibles and memorabilia and that kind of stuff. Uh, some really interesting items, some items I've, I had never heard of before, uh, some item categories that, <laughs> in media, of all things, which I'd, I consider myself fairly versed in, uh, that I just was not familiar with. So you'll, you'll kind of see that in this video. There's some pretty awesome stuff. Um, but yeah, without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Stay tuned to the end to see the breakdown. There that we didn't pull down, and then we have games in the closet if he was interested in any of those I don't remember. That's that stupid thing. <laughs> I'm sure that's coming out when they rip this place apart anyways. Yeah, that's Kid Action. He He's part of that set that's up on my, um, I showed you up on my um, Ethan Allen. Mm -hmm. He's like the teenage version. Okay. He, he could he could become heroes like Speed Racer and yeah, start uh, grabbing, grabbing through that Yeah, we stuff. just found yeah, the I just touched stuff, sorry. I just, cars. that's all right. <laughs> I, uh, I have a little bit of ADHD. That's all right. So. Are you ready for the carnage? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, look in the living room there. All those boxes are There's for you to go through. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, I got some weird stuff that was in, in with the box. <laughs> Is this sealed? Nice. That's cool. That might actually be worth something okay. sealed. This is like a, a style guide that um, they would give to like a graphics department. Okay. For the, um, if you're going to do anything with the, you know, movie stuff like doing posters or promotional materials, all the graphics for this, for this movie are like on, on here. Huh. I got that when I was like at working for Planet Hollywood. I have no frame of reference. I, I know. I didn't I know. even know that was like a thing I just, that they did. Yeah, That's I just crazy. threw it out there. That's cool. We'll look it up. It happened to be in one of the boxes. I'm curious now. I just, I didn't even know an interactive style guide was like a thing that existed. <laughs> like, I just learned something new right now. Uh, so how you been? Good. Yeah? Living the dream? Working hard. Yeah. Working hard or hardly work. <laughs> <laughs> I can't I find that online, but I'll try to look up other like interactive style guides, see if we can get like a frame of reference. <laughs> A wedge of spite and a carton of hate. Mm. <clears throat> the end pen will probably be the Spider Man soundtrack. I actually bought a bunch of soundtracks at an estate sale recently and uh, they were. Is that in one of the boxes? Yeah. Wow. Along with a Godzilla um, oh, like this is graphics good. kit for anyone working on Godzilla related stuff for the movie. I think I got that at Planet. Swag. Yeah, this is. Kid Action, what's the brand? Um, Playing Mantis. Playing Mantis. It's like right around a hundred bucks shit. Is that in my ballpark? No shit. Yeah. No shit. You have interest? Yes. Be careful because the, the wrapper's starting to come undone. Does that have a barcode? Yeah, it does. I don't know if you can call it technically sealed, even though there's a rip in the seal. Yeah, you can, I mean, Generally, I would call it like new other, um, where it's still new, but it's and These have not never really... been opened. Yeah, these are all pre-owned, so it looks like mm. mid-range with the box is like 85 bucks. So that's another one of being at like 40 bucks. Does that sound fair? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we want you to make money. Hmm. All right, so... This is, um, gosh, we've got no room here. Uh, <laughs> we can start shifting some of the stuff that we already have a price for into... Yeah, maybe, maybe. I actually have an Ikea bag I can grab real oh, quick. Okay. Like this warming pad uh -huh. where you plug it in and they can, they can lay down on it. Oh, nice. Yeah, because, I mean, because he does, I mean, the laptop's closed, but he... I don't, I'm glad you got a big bag. 
They have some, uh... Don't feel like you got a rush for us. My, uh, aunt had, like, a bunch of cats my whole life growing up. And she always had one of those, like, uh, windowsill, like, thing. You, like, put them in a windowsill, and it's, like, a little platform. And uh, essentially, it's, like... You mean, like, a, a, a ledge or something? Yeah, or? it's, like, a padded platform, but... Yeah. You like open the window oh, and stick oh. it in there and it, like the window holds it in place. And it's like a little pad for them to lay on in front of the window because the, the sun shines through and it's warm and now they like it. Talking about. I'm from Massachusetts, so cats do whatever they can to get warm. See, our cats <laughs> have always found the comic box. If you like really posters, nice. just take that. I'm not trying to sell it. It's just, I just got it from the comic store. If you're into Batman or if not, mm. we're just probably going to throw it away. Yeah. I don't, I don't see want you to throw it away now. It. I have a place to store it, I just don't. I know it's not gonna sell fast. <laughs> I have like so many posters and they suck to ship. I don't know if you ever shipped a poster, but it's terrible. All right, these, uh, this was a Pizza Hut. This is a set of Pizza Hut Next Generation Cups and these were from the UK. My friend Brian traded me for the Skeleton Warriors along with Stingray. So these toppers like have like a this one's got like a is that a oh, tricorder? No, I can go for like probably because you can't find them. Yeah, because yeah. they're foreign. This has a couple of gargoyles toys in it. One is sealed, huh. one is not, and a Are couple of Pez. Okay, you mean you just threw the food away? No, I knew a manager. So yeah, I say when these toys come out, let me know, and I will buy the toys. I don't care about the food. <laughs> I guess it's just because they're small. It's worth, I like a little more than the price tag. And it looks like they go for like 25 bucks. Mm. So, they're like 12 bucks. It's fine. All right. There's so much freaking Batman stuff out there. Ooh, these are neat. Starter sets. If these were sealed. I know. <laughs> I know. Ridiculous. I know. <laughs> I so think some of them are probably in that you already took. <laughs> you probably already took the ones that were in there. I just wonder if these cards are entirely different cards. I honestly have no, no idea. Definitely doesn't seem like a deck. This seems more like packs because the colors are kind of all over the place. There's the promo Machamp. I know that's not worth much. I really hope we find like a first edition Charizard in here. Some of these cards are all over the place as far as what's in here. <laughs> these aren't even the same set. Like these are definitely not the cards. That we came may in have the box. just put them in the boxes because they were there. Yeah. It's not a complaint. If anything, that's better because the cards like I mean, I, I these are mostly commons on commons, so it's nothing crazy. But the cards that came in them because they were all the same aren't worth like anything. So in, if anything, it's better. To have random cards in them, <laughs> but I don't know. especially if there was a first edition chart that there's not, that would have been cool. But yeah, that would have been cool. <laughs> Those are uh, uh, raw. I think they're like forty grand or something. Oh my god! Uh, oh my god! Why can't I ever come across something like that? I pick things up and put them down. Oh, oh, um, oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Trying to rearrange this stuff and put it away. He's We're, the lifterator. What else <laughs> you got over there, Shelby? Anything? Nothing. We're gonna go oh, see okay. Jurassic Park later, and I'm freaking pumped. The world? Or yeah, the new one, the Jurassic World or whatever. I got oh. it. These. We'll just oh. leave those for now because we don't have all of them. You said it on Otterman. Let me ask you to re take look how I've stacked them. Uh huh. And then there's take a, so we, if we have to restack them, put them back, then we know what to do, but. I mean, if they're all 1995 figures, hopefully we won't have to restack them because they should at least have enough value to sell. I think sell. you will be surprised by these. Yeah. Hopefully it's a good surprise for everybody. What are these all, <laughs> all Marvel figures? Do you want me to take these out, Eric? Sure. So you can see them what all. What was the total on that one? Tw 79, 50, I, I have to clear my calculator for the new batch. That's so weird. I scanned this barcode and it's coming up with this line, but it's saying it's some character Gorgon. I have Gorgon, but... Well, he's not worth much. We know that now. Dusty. Uh, dust you can clean. Ooh, that is real dusty. That's like extra dusty. <laughs> 
nothing a little lightly, lightly, lightly damp cloth can't solve for you. I have like a ton of collectibles, so my room is like basically dust. Say this Twinkie represents all the psychic energy in the greater Manhattan area. <laughs> it would be a Twinkie. I can't like remember. Six feet long and like how many pounds? <laughs> and Zed Moore goes, that's a big Twinkie. <laughs> <laughs> I think about like 20 bucks. What do you say, Shelby? It's fine with me. What am I going to do with them? <laughs> See, a lot of we'll these stuff, a lot of this stuff, I thought, well, if we don't use it, we'll, you know, we'll have kids and they can play with them. And it's like, oh, that never happened. Dun, 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 dun. Nice. That's amazing. <laughs> oh. It gets better. Sold. I do not care. <laughs> we'll look it up. Dun, 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 dun. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, but wait. There's more. <laughs> My wife's gonna be really sad when I keep these. Dun, 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 dun. Nice. With a powdered toast man t-shirt. That's amazing. <laughs> and um, a little stimping, he's got mud, mud, muddy mud skipper t-shirt. <laughs> you like running stimpy, do you? I am a running stimpy guy for sure. It's one of the first shows that I was allowed to watch as a kid and probably because nobody was paying attention to the content but one of the first shows i was allowed to watch as a kid that was pretty like out there and like raunchy and like it's probably not appropriate for me to watch at the age i was animaniacs they were not kids cartoons no, not kid cartoons very adult we, we yeah it's like we were watching them going kids are watching this crime but they <laughs> were on the kids channel and i was not that well supervised All like, I can remember is <laughs> what else is in there i think it's like one of those boxes with $10 there. figures. I'll usually be in them for like a dollar because it's like I'll make like three bucks on them once so, you ship. Yeah, yeah, it's like those ones generally aren't as worth it. This one is very cool. Oh, it's got your name on it. I signed for it now. I'm super curious what's in it. Me too. It's never well, come it was, this is like it, an unboxing 25 years it in the came making. from Walmart. <laughs> Back when they sold this paper wrap shit and fun too. You might have put it on a layaway or something. Might have been. Classic Star Trek. Mm. What is it? Classic Star Trek. I'll just tear the paper because the paper isn't going to sell. Well, yeah, the paper's not worth anything. It's the bridge. How's that look good? That's interesting. <laughs> and you saw us unwrap it. <laughs> right? So we've never touched it until yeah. now. Definitely could not be more nail. That is mint, 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 mint. That's cool. No, so, you want the real characters, yeah. the ones you know. Yeah. She may be better. It's not the one in the mech suit, but it is a Ripley. Oh, it's this one. Power loader Ripley. That's what it's called. I think I've got it. The, so this selling, is the one. That's what, a good one. Selling for like 40 -ish. What was the other one? Because I think I lost track there. Uh, I had 115 and then I had a 15 from the Green Ranger. Oh, sure. Oh, no. We're going through this box. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, my battery died. I grabbed another. Uh, we'll make this 30. Okay. I will add it as a separate line item then instead of adding it to this box so we don't okay. confuse our numbers here. This one's a little better. Maybe like 15 bucks. And so you're keeping a tally on this stack? Yeah. Okay. And, uh, and those. Well, we can use that. We can set that on a desk somewhere. Set aside. I keep that one. Well, yes. Yeah, so, I mean, I love Swamp Thing. Oh, yeah. We like Toxic too, so. Yeah, Toxic Avenger cool is cool. The, particularly the Toxic Avenger figure himself on card is like a $400 These figure. These you're keeping, Holy right? shit. Well, don't. I think Eric bought one of them already. What's that? No, we didn't show it to him yet. Yeah, the other Did one. We? The Batman commemoratives? Yeah, I bought one of those. This one's a different one. If you want to use this and take it with you, that's cool. Yeah, man, as well. I'll just stack them in there. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Crazy, right? I mean, buying all this stuff, you'll definitely need less boxes to move, so. Yeah. I 
I feel like we got to a point again. I really, so I really expected him to have a lot less action figures or for you guys to have a lot less action figures. Ha ha! Uh, so we may get into a situation, probably have already, where I'm going to be doing PayPal and cash that's again. That's fine. <laughs> but I'm sure that's fine. And this time I'll type your email in correctly. Yeah, that was pretty scary there for a little bit. Oh yeah, I was nervous. <laughs> I'm not going to lie because that was a lot of money, but... Uh, thankfully I was able, I, I don't know if I, I think I texted you after Tracy and yeah. mentioned I was able to cancel it, which was good because God forbid somebody makes. <laughs> so everybody's not tripping over those. those. Uh, I mean, when you're wetty. Oh, I'm wetty. I, I was born wetty. Born wetty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice parts. <laughs> it's crazy, man. I had literally had like all these figures as a kid. And again, all came from yard sales. None of them were new. A tuma? It's not a tumor. <laughs> I had to do that. I did. Nah, that's pretty good. I think I did it when you bought it, too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when it hits, it hits, right? Like, uh, yeah, that's a pretty low dollar, too. I that somebody <laughs> was going to make that reference. <laughs> it had to be done. The uh, first box was really, really came hot with some of the gems. The one with like the, the Spider-Man and stuff in it. Uh huh. Yeah. Now uh, we took the best guesses you could take at the time. Right. <laughs> hey, if I could, if I could keep them all and put them on a shelf, I would. But I just, I don't know what the future is going to bring. So I think maybe it might We're be more to... prudential for me to just unload them. Nice. What is that? Star Wars. <laughs> the micro machine Ewoks. Micros. Oh my goodness, I forgot we had those. Micro machines can definitely be decent. I sold some NASA themed ones for some good money. Wow, this box has been with us a long time. <laughs> Blade the Vampire Slayer. Oh, nice. That's awesome. I sold Morbius from this line. Did you? Like right when the movie came out. I think it went for like 40 bucks. I may have it. I don't know what it's going out for now, but I know, or it was right when the movie was announced. I don't think the movie's out yet. Yeah, because the movie I heard sucked. Oh, I guess maybe it is out now. If you heard it sucks. Total Justice Hawkman. So oh, that's Aquaman. No wonder that one's low. Nobody likes you, Aquaman. Why? Get out of Come here. Come on. Here he is. Oh, yeah. So I can tell you right now, he's not worth it. <laughs> the Total Justice figures seem like they're low. The Aquaman was like the first one to come up, and that one was... $8.95. Poison Ivy. Oh, nice. Batman and Robin, everyone's favorite movie. Now, I thought she played a good Poison Ivy. I really thought Bane was cool as a kid. That was when I knew nothing about Bane. Bane is but like evil that, badass. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, Bane in that movie, I don't feel like really did just like justice to the no, character not at, at all. all. They made him a uh, stupid dolt. Yeah, I thought he was very cool as a kid, but it's like learning more about the character as I got more into Batman. Uh, pretty low dollar. You just printed these, right? Uh, yeah. Fresh off the printer. <laughs> They're still wet. Yep. Thirteen sixty nine fifty. Yep. Nine, nine, forty, sixty, eighty, ninety, ninety. Exactly a thousand bucks, and then I gotta send you uh, PayPal for that. I will recount it too, just to make sure you didn't have any sticking together. As you saw, I picked up some awesome stuff today. Um, the, I, you may have seen that interactive media guide, that Godzilla guide. 
uh, for artists who are working on the movie, who are doing art for the movie. That that was really something uh, very interesting, very unique, something I've never seen before. Uh, it did end up actually selling already. We'll go ahead and throw that up on screen uh, so you can see kind of what that sold for. I'm definitely one of the better buys. We got a lot of items that are still uh, sitting and waiting for their forever home. If you are uh, following me, if you're interested in some of these items or interested in I other items you may have seen me pick up in videos, uh, definitely check out the link in the description for the eBay store. Uh, it's a great way to support the channel. Currently we are not monetized, so supporting us via eBay is huge. Um, if you're anybody who's following us locally, uh, definitely consider reaching out for local purchases as well. We're always happy to uh, do that. But at any rate, thank you guys so much for staying tuned to the end. We'll go ahead and throw uh, the total amount spent up on screen and the total projected profit. Thank you guys so much for staying tuned until the end of the video. Uh, if you're really enjoying the content, throw a like down below. It helps us out a ton. helps us to get recommended to other people. Uh, subscribe. It's totally free if you haven't already. And you want to get notified when videos like these go live. Um, I do put out one to two videos a week, sometimes three if I'm feeling real froggy. Uh, but yeah, remember, when you see those toys and video games off in the distance, it is not a mirage. You guys have a great day. Spoiler for next week's video.